That shooting unfolding in the St. Albans section, and the gunman has not been caught. CBS 2's Jennifer Bizram is live at the scene with the breaking details for us. Jen? Information still coming in at this hour, but what we can tell you, we just confirmed with police two people were shot here in St. Albans tonight, including a 25 year old man who did die from his gunshot wounds. So, all of this happened around 9 15 tonight inside of a home here on Pineville Lane. Police sources saying it was a man and woman who were both shot. We're told the man was shot multiple times and rushed to Jamaica Hospital in critical, critical condition. He died shortly after. The woman, we're told, was also taken to Jamaica Hospital. She is expected to survive, according to police. It is unclear how they are related. Now, back here on the scene live, you can see there is still an active police presence. Neighbors have been in and out, and residents of that home have been coming in and out, screaming, crying at some points, and just in disbelief that something like this happened in this neighborhood. Again, we are still trying to get more information from police, but what we can tell you tonight, two people shot here in St. Albans, Queens tonight, including a 25-year-old man who did die from his gunshot wounds. Police say they are still looking for that gunman. Of course, as we get more information, we will certainly bring that to you. But for now, we are live in St. Albans, Queens. Jennifer Bisram, CBS2 News.